I swear to fuck if that's us. <laughs> oh, man. I found that when I'm going over fishing, like that last video I did, I remind myself of why my homeboy, Jeff, This is back in my corporate life, or as people in my corporate life used to say about their previous job. Back in my past life, my prior life, why my homeboy Jeff told me during a review that I had a resting bitch face in the office. Going over fishing is like, God, especially I did a full... I did that full video and something was fucked so I redid it and if you can't tell this is I'm not following a script I don't take notes so it's like shit man I was kind of on a roll and so the next one is just like all right fucking all right and you talked about this and then I did it and <clears throat> got to the I also cleared my throat about 50 times <laughs> Got to the results. What the fuck am I talking about? The results? I was editing the film and it was just like, well, I didn't press record for 15 minutes. Alright, we're tying with deer hair and questions, right? What is deer hair? Why do we like it? So I'm just thinking about hooks. All right, we have a stinger style, and then the, the TP. Basically, this is way more metal than this. It's, it's a thicker wire gauge, so you need more hair per unit of metal to keep it floaty. And... That's where deer hair makes things tricky because this these are so nice to tie on with 200 GSP and some good deer hair. You can just blast through it. I mean, and arguably, because you can put so much force on it and and not really care that much, and there's a there's a bigger diameter. The, the gauge is bigger, so you can actually like the the number of pieces of deer. It's a bigger surface area to pack stuff onto, and it's stouter, so you can actually pack stuff onto it. Uh, man, it's making me. I was, I was feeling. What to do? I want to tie it. I want to tie a big fucking mouse. Or, uh, kind of want to tie a baby squirrel. It's pretty floppy. It'll be all right. I'm okay with it. I'm going to tighten up this thing and get a new vise. I'm getting a new vise. Not sure when or which one. Uh, haven't even looked at them. I haven't looked at vices since I got this one. But I will get a new one. I could honestly, I could probably just get this new, this little bolt replaced. Hey, Renzetti. I'm not sure. I think they like names. Who said that? Good to see that Blaine left Flyman. 
and you are going to have to get your settings changed. Your boy got a computer with faster processing, so everyone's in trouble. Everyone is in trouble, including me, because I think that makes things easier, and then I just want to do more. And action. I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. I feel like I was I was on a roll with some positivity and then I got some attitude and then my computer got all wonky. I'm looking for some shit. Tubes. Where are they at? I just turned the cameras off to look for these. They're, they couldn't be closer to me. Unless they were my vice or this, they couldn't be closer. Though it did have a cut one that... Not quite halfway, but we're just going to do halfway. Some doubled up 25. I'll start yapping once I... That's what everyone is always asking me. Ellis, when are you going to start yapping? I'm like, dude, patience. And also... Watch it. This could be done differently and more efficiently. And without any guesswork on the length, just by attaching this first and then threading it through. But whatever, we're good. We're good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Stop asking. Yeah, I was thinking about the the concept or the maybe the phrase uh, guide guide tricks. I make myself laugh, which is good because I'm either alone with my daughter, who is now. She'll be six in May, and I mean, she's going to be darn close to, she can read pretty darn well. Hi Greta, in like a year. 
Sorry I was so tired. So Solo, Daughter, who now, I mean, and for a long time, really, cracks me up. Uh, or with people on my boat, and some of you guys are funny. All right, that's wire through tube fly. Tubing. I should have gotten... Deer hair. Alright, now this does not, I think the last time I was tying with deer hair I didn't have 200, so. Makeup why I'm putting rabbit on. I kind of like it because it's sinky and I'll pull this bottom down a little bit. It will also, with a couple wraps, secure that. Which is also the job of that tube, but um, man, when you're fishing out there and you can't see anything, you don't want to get an eat that comes back and doesn't have a, or has the stinger hook all like wrapped around acting like a weed guard. Alright, I need to I need to not stab myself. I started teaching at ETSU. We're just stacking. stacking. I might put some funky shit in here just to keep everyone guessing. Yeah, so first day we're in the dome. We're down on the field. And I'm having these college students cast musky fly. They've never touched a fly rod. I was like, well, I mean, if they've never touched a fly rod, right, what's the difference between a 12, well, it was a 10, and a 5? They don't know the difference. Weighted line, big bucktail fly on it. I was like, yeah, I mean, these are flies too. I showed them little ones. I was like, we'll do that. And <laughs> first couple casts, I just planted the hooks into the turf, like tried to roll it out. There's only five students. We're down on the fucking football. They're like, it was like a class environment, not like I would want. They're like looking at me like, what's, okay, what are we doing? And this thing's just jammed into the field. And I'm walking like, <laughs> I had bombed it. I'm walking like 60 feet go over and pull this thing out. So I think I'm just doing that one stack here on the back. We're kind of right over the hook point. I don't really think I feel like So on these, 
it's mostly on top. So I'm coming around the bottom, and if I wiggle, <laughs> Bill, get out of here. If I wiggle and bring forward, that'll end up finding the gap. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of wiggling and pulling, and the whole time, every time I'm doing this, when I'm wiggling and pulling, I'm pinching that down onto the hook. Get a job. I pull pretty hard, so I, I cut through some of those apparently. Now the fun begins. So the reason why you want long hair for a, a big body or why you stack on top for something tall is that it's It's really dense and compressed right up against the hook, but then it, it fluffs out. So you can only get the body as wide as half of the length of your deer hair, because it, assuming you're hitting it right in the middle. So one thing I like to do is come around like huh? And just pull like that that way I just I know that I'm all the way around everything and my fingers it, it allows that thumb and forefinger to catch the whole bundle and gives me a guide gives this thread a guide because otherwise you're slipping forward so around twice once you've done that little cinch thing Pretty straightforward. Now, it, I'll be fancy here. All I'm doing is letting that thing go to the bottom. Now I'm going to try to be pretty clean to show hygienics, I guess. Ooh. Deer hair is a little brittle. So you want, you want to see some hook shank right there. You can put a little super glue down, but you don't need to. Man, so what else was there? I don't know if I've done a tying video since the musky tournament, but... First Kentucky River Muskie Classic. It was sick. The conditions were dog shit, but can't do anything about that. That was, if the conditions of my environment weren't what they were, which was fishing with Drake and Joe. I grew up sort of with Drake. He was a couple years ahead of me, but small town, I mean really small world. 
he's now running Little Miami River Outfitters back in Cincinnati and and then he has fished with Joe so I'm kind of and we're on Drake's boat so I'm kind of odd man out ish we had a great time great dudes day one was absolutely abysmal it was one of the days it was I mean just general arc of fishing you don't want to be in the post frontal like just rain now it's clearing up and getting windy and cold that's exactly what it was the the high was 52 at 12.01 a.m it just got colder it was like i think the low was at like 1 p.m we're running back up the river and the jet just fucking freezing So putting three or four of these whips in here in front of that tie, it's a little funky because I have my wire right there, creates a little dam. These things are, are worth it. I was going to say worth the trouble, but it's literally no trouble at all. Well, I think I might do... Well, I'm going to create a little... I didn't think through the wire there. Create a little ramp here. we got uh, it's March come fish book your trip I have a like a weirdly quiet next couple weeks which is a good excuse to do video work coincides nicely with my daughter's spring break but not ideal I mean Prime dates are filling up. Book your trip. do your best to not grab any of those hairs from the previous stack. So this is just, I'm cinching down, right, and then I'm letting it go over. Now here, Pinching and pulling. Once I get up here. If you have really springy deer hair, it might be advisable to put a little thing of super glue right there. Otherwise, at, even after you compress, it'll want to lift that thread back up and then you'll see it a little bit on this tie.
it'll just want to roll a little bit. So I'd like to take some of the mystique out of deer hair, recognizing that some of this might look like something you can't do. I assure you the best way to, to start getting better at it is just ripping into it. Oh yeah, what type of what type of hot spot do mice have? Watch out for glow in the dark deer belly next year. That's not gonna happen. So this is where the stacking, I mean, stacking bottom, stacking and packing, eh, that to me is packing. So this is sort of a separate thing, separate part of stacking. So you're stacking top and bottom and then Wiggling, wiggling. If you want to make like a super artsy, perfect looking chartreuse yellow, pink, red, black popper with dots and shit, you do have to, you gotta make sure you're going right in the middle. If you want to make something that'll fish, you just get in there. And just make sure to pull and figure out with 100 strand that would have broken for sure that would have broken all of the hair that 100 strand will just cut through so after getting some good pulls in i'm gonna i'm pulling with my left hard and then i'm smashing with my right now switching pulling with the right smashing on the sides and you can feel it. Feel it smashing all down in there. We're going to wiggle. And it's still a little spinny. Oh, yeah. Felt that one. Right there. Wow, wow. So we're almost at the hook eye, but this one's going to pack back and hopefully go up that little ramp I built. Now, fishing, guiding, Tying flies for those two things. This can be achieved with foam and rabbit. I like tying with deer hair. Um, I always loved watching people tie with deer hair when I was learning. So you can try to hit that thread dam and, and smush everything all the way back, which I did. I'll also, after a couple, just mash it back that way, too. Now we are going to do a little bit of super glue. Real nice and deep black. Oh yeah, <clears throat> for my next guide trick, I'll 
I'll have you think I'm not insecure for between seven and ten hours. Possibly relatedly, I've had some <clears throat> I've had some great anglers recently who have oh. I wish I had some diet do. I might <clears throat> legitimately pass out from pure ecstasy if I did have diet do. Alright, I probably could have skipped this one. Also, I don't know. Yeah. Watch this. I didn't catch the hook. I just wrapped around the deer hair twice. That was a little chunky for a stack anyways. I was going to spin, but then, I don't know. I think I want to do, when you're getting in tight, it's not halfway. More smaller stacks is going to be, and, and if you're tying the drunk, more smaller spins, it's just more manageable, you're not losing your thread amongst chaos, and boy, there's no way around it, you're going to tie so many bad flies when you're just starting with deer hair. And honestly, you're going to tie a bunch of mouse flies that suck. So if you're tying mouse flies and deer hair, that thing's going to be sinking, maybe still catching fish. I have noticed on a slow retrieve, if you have something that's like halfway, hanging out of the surface, which is dragging with a big piece of its body underneath. Man, they eat that shit hard. It's a little less, you know, people had someone ask me, oh, you ever do the two hand milk and the gerbil thing? It's kind of like, I, I like fishing conventional gear. And the spook is just click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. Fishing big flats, you can just bomb that thing. So I don't know why another version of someone who is fishing with me to learn from me, but um, at the same time, it, uh, it's such a weird dynamic, man. People are weird. At the same time, it's like, oh, you ever do this? I do want to learn from people. It's just when it's all day, completing my sentences. I don't know, dude. It's a weird dynamic. Unless, you know, unless it's very apparent how much experience they have and, and how much I'm actually learning from them. Otherwise, it's like I'm kind of stopping every once in a while and just being like, damn, dude. Because it's also a client, right? So you don't want to be like, bro, can you not act like you know what I'm about to say because you clearly don't? That's, that's weird. But yeah, I like the... I, had moused with Tommy Lynch a few years ago and just learned so much from him. And the, the slow lift.
getting that V just splat Bill get a job splat and then lifting that rod up and that mouse is just dragging I'll just say it again. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. Do, I don't know. I keep doing videos. It's when I'm about to go fishing that I'm the most excited and I think representative of... most closely representative of how I carry myself on the water doing YouTube videos. I mean, it's, I like, I like doing it. I like the feedback that I get. People are appreciative. Help spread the word. People are like, alright, this dude's This dude's more broken than I am, but probably won't kill me. But I don't like a boring life, so I do want to live in a little bit of fear of my life. You know, if he gets a little attitude or I can tell he's something's not going right that day. I want to feel like we might just go over this next rapid backwards or sideways. I want to feel like if I turn around, we're going 40 pound on the junction here. I want to feel like if I turn around at any given time, he might have his eyes closed. that gap way up there because thickest part is going to be right there feel like if I turn around he's gonna have his eyes closed just for a couple seconds at a time and when he says something like alright boys we're letting Jesus take the wheel Bill you're about to 
you're about to lose your food privileges tomorrow. Do you want to eat again? I'm guessing he is meowing because he thinks his cat door is locked. Bill, go try it. Because it was. Because my daughter was tired. And tired five-year-olds are like drunk adults. She was putting her head through the cat door, which is actually a cat window. And turned on the lock function. You have to try to do it. It's not like a... I don't know, she probably did it on accident. Bill, go try your damn cat door window. <laughs> I feel bad because I'll do that and I'll go out and be like, shit, yeah, you can't get out of that thing. I'm telling you, bro. I have a soul, barely. I mean, it's dead, but it's, I still have one. just wanted food. He's got a full bowl of food, but I don't know if there's... He's just fucking with me at this point, I think. A little spillover from the other one. So spinning your thread, I would say, has pros and cons, always. You don't really need to as much. I 
I think that's just going to be my backstop. You need something to pack against. I would have liked to have used a little bit longer hair, but <clears throat> you know, Stay consistent. Do you believe we have a rump patch here? God, that Reese's is good. I'm a big, big cup guy. That's what they call me back in Cincinnati. Quoting Dumb and Dumber and shit. It's kind of embarrassing, but what are you going to do? A big cup, eh? No, but for real, the the big cups with the Reese's Pieces. So it looks kind of wonky now, but as, as I cinch, kind of starting to get back to, to center. Cinch, twist, push it back a little bit. It all finds a home. Now this hair, this is nice to tie with. That other dark brown has, I dyed all of this so <clears throat> I can tell you for sure some of that stuff I just, <laughs> some of it I just forget about. Kind of do it low and slow, and then it's just like, oh, that's been boiling for 30 minutes. Belly hair takes color way faster than bucktail. Way fast. It's like almost on par with like ma white marabou and white schloppen. Not even boiling water. It's, you know, th those things have to be in the dye bath for seconds. You ever get any of this stuff going on? Just try to get it out of the way. Handicapping towards the back, just keeping that middle section the widest and tallest. I am going to do. We're going to do some more pink. And you can start to use your shorter hair 
Not that this is like incredibly short. I think I, I must have processed like, I mean, I had so many of these. Yeah, I must have processed like a whole lot of inch and three quarter to two inch. Because when I come across like the two, two and a half, that's the stuff you really want. Once you start getting an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, it's uh, honestly for drawn, for most of the stuff I tie, I, I'm not. I like tying these when I'm in the mood, but most of my fishing flies, I don't need super long hair. But man, if you're doing this, if you're tying Dahlbergs and hair bug proper, a, buy, you know, order whatever you're doing. If you're not at the shop ordering. Pat Cohen used to sell some uh, St. Mary's, St. Marie's, I don't know, this dude uh, Ricky Flies on Instagram ties some, some crazy shit. But yeah, it's worth finding a source and paying a little extra because if, if you, you know, paying, paying four or five bucks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Paying four or five bucks for a patch of hair as opposed to three fifty when that four or five bucks is almost guaranteed to be nicer and that three fifty is Gosh, one in five, one in ten. Some of those patches of hair are complete garbage. Some are really nice. And then there's, you know, then there's the, it's probably more like one in five. And then this, the reason why this brown hair is so long and nice is that it's from the rump.
before I go too crazy, I'm going to try to get back over that wire. good. I think we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we good, we good. Man, I mean, what else even is there? I guess there's something was on the news earlier. It'll probably be on later, too. Yeah, thankfully, since I'm not watching fishing, I'm, I'm not I'm not triggering myself into being like, would you lift? Would you not? Would you stop lifting your fucking rod tip? I guess I can talk about opacity. advertise with the streamer fishing this mouse could be all white if it's solid deer hair it's going to stop just as much light as an all black I've, I've tied intentionally I mean I've, I had already made the conclusion so which is kind of dangerous you're trying to prove a hypothesis you have already decided on but it black brown pink it doesn't matter Maybe gin clear water if there's a moon. It, I mean, it just, it doesn't look like a mouse anyways. <laughs> so, the fact that, what mouse is all black? Profile, you know, what it's throwing down in the water is, it, it, you ask me, it's not even an, an argument or an opinion. It's, what is what is blocking light? And something that is opaque blocks light. It doesn't matter what color it is. dude fishing he was you know another tough midsummer day in the south holston blue skies you gotta you gotta work for him almost all the time but especially on days like that But he started, there's only so many times I can say it, you know? Gotta get it closer in, need another couple feet from you, etc. But he starts getting it in. 
getting it into the sows. I'm going oh yeah and the first couple landed you know they were like reasonable oh yeah he goes yeah Trying to listen, I can learn something. Something like a normal human response. I'm like, yeah, dude. Sometimes you just gotta gotta get dirty with it. And he kind of jumped onto that one. You know, he's like, yeah. You know, sometimes sometimes they like it when you get a little dirty. And I was like, brother, you don't know the half of it. Sometimes it helps to talk to them a little bit, too. It's not just doing it. You want to let them know that you know what you're doing. And I'm not sure if I could tell I was losing him on that one, but I probably could. <laughs> Gets the next one in there, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> And he was almost gone there. I, I think he. I think he still. He remained very briefly, and then another cast. Oh yeah, and dude, he was. I thankfully cracked myself up, but that one was. That had crossed the line. Oh yeah. I have my one dude. OG at this point. Start singing to the trout that their mothers swim out to troop ships. So that is to say that not only are their mothers wanting to go on to a troop ship, which is a from the context, I guess, um, some type of naval vessel, you know, parked or whatever they are, anchored offshore, because it's such a big ship. So not only does would the mother even do that, presumably for many soldiers or seamen at once that's a little bucktaily uh she is going to risk her life She'll risk her life to swim out there because she wants it that bad. I am not kidding you. Within about 15 minutes of that, it had been hours. You know, it was, we had some activity that day, but it just it felt like one of those home run days. And man, if you're screwing with your line in your hands, just at least be. Strip once. Don't just cast your fly out and start screwing with your lines. I saw this dude's fly get inhaled. Could have been a striper. Down in the zone. Had some off-color water. Nuked. Swimming around with it in its mouth. This is like... I, I mean, a dozen times that I would have been saying, Hey, quit screwing around with your line. I would go, Hey, what are you doing? He goes, I'm so he's screwing around with his line. I don't know where that cut. Screwing around with his line. Gets back to it and is like, you know, his line's tight in a way different direction. And he's kind of like, huh? 
And I'll not say anything because it's already happened multiple times. And I just keep telling him, like, dude, you got to... When I'm telling you stuff on the boat, it's not because I have this insatiable ego and control issues that maybe I do that, that can't be sated. It's because I really want you to catch fish. I want you to catch... I want you to leave so shocked at what has happened or what you saw or a fish you caught and yeah I mean some of it's please come back that's repeat business is that's the bread and butter um, a lot of good dudes some have become friends that I see you know Three, four, five, six times a year. A lot of guys, even the first couple of years, it just they they're immediately annual. Their trout fishing trips gonna be with me. But I really just even if it's just once, I am out there and telling you to do stuff because I really want you to just get a glimpse of what I know is possible out there and it's not casting five feet from the bank and looking at your buddy while you're slowly retrieving and being like whew that's why they call it fishing not catching so yeah I got my eye on you So he comes back tight to it and just I, I knew what was going on and he's kind of like oh god like figuring it out and he, he's not he's this dude's like almost 70 the man John big ups buddy guy's a fucking maniac that's not a good time to break thread Because I, I think a fish ate that fly. <laughs> yes, yes, it did. But river distance, and say three hundred yards. Was, this was in like a big pooly area, and really only another 100 maybe 75 yards maybe even less of like so i'm i'm traveling back around to make sure i caught that which just broke off here because these arix hooks don't have a closed eye Yeah, another however many yards. Brian starts telling brown trout that their mothers swim out to troop ships, singing it at the top of his lungs. <laughs> like, with some tune. It was not... I was crying, dude, my stomach hurt. And I would say in the first, like, you know, we passed another, like, 200 yards of sort of, meh, I'm, I'm probably rowing. And in the first, like, 50 yards of some spots, John plants a 19-inch brown. Your mothers swim out to troop ships. I don't even know what tone it was or ever, but... Those guys always crack me up. This is already about as fancy as I'm going to get. 
so I don't think we need another spin up front. If you're going for the real, the looker, you can put another spin in there. I did all that when I was trying to learn how to do all this, how to do all this, how to do all that. I've done all that while I was trying to learn how to do all this. I've done this while I was trying to figure out how to do that. It just couldn't be, could not be less necessary. Oh my goodness. Now. Now the fun. I want the bottom flat so that it wants to float. We got the that keel, that hook weight pulling things down. And check this out. There's no rules, right? If you want to get get some angle that you can't reach because of the hook eye, You can normally sort of get in there and, and rotate out and she's done. Now here's a little little tip of rootle. Tippity doo da. Don't cut that GSP. So there's kind of a balance because if you don't carve it enough, you're not going to get to the density that is 
exploding. Oh, you know, I, I do this every single time. I want to carve that back hook before I get to this. Okay, we're a, we're a little wonky there, so we're just going to straighten that up. That's okay. We'll just come in sideways. Ooh, or do that. Can't be scared. Can't be scared. If you are scared of making a mess, if you are scared of screwing up, if you are scared of whatever, scared of losing flies, I got some chartreuse yarn and an indicator for you. Wait, some chartreuse yarn and some split shot for you. Which is fine. All this stuff, all this hard stuff, not for everyone. It's fine. That is okay. That is reasonable. It's the most reasonable thing. If this were for everyone, it wouldn't really make any sense. I probably wouldn't like it as much just because of my odd, like, let's kind of stay between the lines and, you know, dress a certain way, haircuts. But also, can't stand working in an office, give me the fuck out of normal life. So whatever that part of me that exists, probably wouldn't like as much. So some tangent in here was, like this, this doesn't float. That just gets wet.
Dude, praise up to... I don't, that's kind of a joking phrase, but for real. I don't know if Travis watches this, but... Hope your brother's doing alright. Got the news of... A pretty not sweet... On-the-job accident. While he was fishing with me. Don't cut anymore, don't cut anymore. I used to fucking obsess over the symmetry. The symmetry. That was a little brain job for you. Over the symmetry. And you know, once once you have everything most of the way there. This stuff is not doing shit. Oh. All right. Book your trip. Psych. We're doing a little bit of diamond fine. One of the reasons I like this is it soaks in. I'm not concerned about it just being a shell. And it does a good job of holding the hair in the packed shape so that when it dries I can actually give it some to get it a little bit more packed and just a little bit more of a whatever shape it is that I want definitely worthwhile to explore with drunks and Dahlbergs since those the proportions, the width relative to length and you know, those Dahlbergs, if you really do focus on the symmetry, you can tell that thing's diving straight in, floating straight back up, swimming along the way. Plus, mm, oh shit, well, end of this month will be six years. being sober as a bird. So, Sally Hansen's is also a good way to, you know. I put the, put the lid on it. I 
this is just, it's all gooey because I've left the lid partially cracked too many times. And uh, final note, before I think of something else, I should have gone harder on those. The, the first couple on the front hook. There's something else I might might do if this is taking on too much water is trim that trim that backside down. <laughs> 